You're now watching Showbiz Snob, your daily showbiz update. Inilabas na nga ng Camarines Norte, Daet Camarines Norte Norte, ang desisyon ng Staffa Case laban kay Sunshine Dizon or si Margaret Tan sa totoong buhay. Narito po ang nilalaman ng nasabing resolusyon. Jonathan Rubik D. Margaret Tan aka Sunshine Dizon and Alman John Balon. For resolution is a complaint for a staff of filed by Benedicto Cosa, Padua, Benedicto for Brevity, a resident of Barangay Mother Lode, Panganiban, Camarines Norte, and Rogelio Cruz Fonacher, Rogelio for Brevity of Barangay Mokorong, Mokong, Basud, Camarines Norte, against Jonathan Rubik D., Jonathan for Brevity, Margaret Tan, Aka Sunshine Dizon, Sunshine for Brevity, both residents of and Alman John Balon, John for Brevity, a resident, in a complaint that read as follows. The onward around during the period comprised between February 2022 to August 2022 in Basud, Camarines Norte, and within the jurisdiction of this court, the accused acting collectively did then and there willfully, unlawfully, and feloniously defraud the complainants as follows. Complainants invested in the business offer of the accused in the expectation that their representation promises and assurances that their money is safe and will earn profit, when in fact those representations, promises, and assurances are false. If not for these false representations and promises, complainants would have not invested their money. Accused use their fame and influence to defraud complainants. As a result of this false pretenses, representation, and promises of the accused complainants suffer damage amounting a 10 million pesos. Act or acts contrary to law, Diet Camarines Norte, February 2, 2023. Private complainant Benedicto and Rogelio stated in their joint complainant affidavit that sometime on February 2022, the latter's wife, Felianera Llarena Frasher, told them that John is inviting her to invest a Sabong Express online business that will earn a profit of 2% per month because Fe has no money, she referred the offer to her in private complainants. On February 17, 2022, John, together with Jonathan and Sunshine, visited the private complainants in their house in Barangay Mokong, Basud, Camarines Norte. To discuss the business offer, according to private complainants, John introduced Jonathan as the son of the governor of Isabella, John also told them that Jonathan was the sole person granted a franchise to operate Sabong Express Online in the province of Camarines Norte. On the other hand, Sunshine informed them that she will be appointed by the Governor Edgardo Taliado as the Ambassadress of Tourism in Camarines Norte after that then upcoming elections. They also made known to them that before proceeding to the House of Rogelio, they had an appointment first with then Governor Edgardo Taliado. According to the private complainants, they manifested their interest in the offer of the respondents because they knew that John is well connected to the then to the then governor and that Sunshine is a well-known actress. On their first meeting, Jonathan and Sunshine discussed their business offer. Sunshine also said that Jonathan is the sole franchise of Sabong Express online in Camarines Norte. Jonathan and Sunshine discussed to the private complainants the process of loading a fund. The two informed them that if they can invest 10 million pesos, they can be the sole capitalist of the betting station in the entire province of Camarines Norte. Accordingly, be the sole capital of the betting station. Then, this 10 million pesos will be considered as a bond for the exclusive right to load in all betting stations in the entire province moreover. This, this money will earn profit and 2% of the profit will given to the private complainants. Then, they discuss the process of loading a fund through GCash. Private complainants were told by Jonathan and Sunshine that once they have paid the amount of 10 million pesos, a mother account for the entire Camarines Norte will be created to 
which the private complainants will have sole access to monitor all loading activities. Financial transaction day-to-day -day operation cash in cash out activities in all betting stations under that account. It was also through that mother account that private complainants will be able to withdraw their profit. They were made to believe also that even Jonathan will have no access to that account. Private complainants were assured by the respondents that their money will be safe and that respondent will not put their name on shame just for this particular business offer. They told them to rush up raising the amount of 10 million pesos if they are willing to be the sole capitalist uh, of all betting station of online Sabong Express. Because of the assurance and promises of the respondents, private complainant raised the amount of 10 million pesos contributing 5 million pesos each. Then on February 24, 2022, they called the respondents to come over to Rogelio's house. Private complainants handed the 10 million pesos to respondents, after which respondents advised them to create Gcash account equivalent to the number of betting stations in Camarines Norte. There, they were also told to start processing documentary requirements for the installation of betting stations. They were assured that Jonathan, who is the sole franchise in Camarines Norte, will immediately approve the said applications. Private complainants immediately created the required GCash accounts and sent it to Jonathan. However, after parting with their money, the respondents failed to make good of their promises. Jonathan failed to, run, to turn over the mother account and neither were they given any access to the said mother account. Contrary to the representations of Jonathan, that the respondents will have sole access to the mother account. It was Jonathan who has sole control of the account. No fund transfer was ever made to the GCash account that they had created and as a result, private complainants were not able to, comment, to commence operations of the online betting stations. Moreover, no profits were ever remitted to them. On the following days, the government declared online sabong illegal and so the private complainants demanded from John, Jonathan, and Sunshine the return of their money. They were promised that the money will be given back once Jonathan has recovered it from Sabong Express Online. On May 28, 2022, Rogelio went to Jonathan to personally demand from him the money. Jonathan did not give him money. He, however, issued a Robinson's Bank check. Anyway, marami nga ang nagiintay sa magiging statement ni Sunshine Cruz kung ang lahat ba ng proseso o ang nangyari sa nasabi nga pong 10 million investment na iyon ng private complainant ay may kinalaman din si Sunshine. Kaya naman say ng mga netizen, kung si Sunshine daw is part of the enter enterprise and she knew she was selling an investment fraudulently and she still willing to part, then she responsible and thus must be made to account. Good luck, Miss Margaret Tan, Aka Sunshine Dizon. Say naman ng isa, hmm, bigat ha, pero sausawan lang ako kapag may statement na si Sunshine para fair. OMG, ang sakit talaga ito sa ulo kay Sunshine kung ganun. Ang haggard na ni Akla kahit nakamakeup. Ang kalat naman itong ni Sunshine. Pareho sila ng address so magjowa ba si Sunshine at yung Jonathan. Anyway, yan nga ang naging reaksyon ng mga nerzen. Ano kaya ang masasay dito ni Sunshine Dison? Kaya naman, pinaka-aantay natin yan. At yan ang atong Showbiz Snap update. Images are all credit to the rightful owners and thank you for watching Showbiz Snap.